Hello viewers, welcome to this video. So in this video, what we will be looking at is how to enable quota for the uh, GlustreFS volumes. So I hope that you're enjoying this GlustreFS series and we covered a wide variety of uh, topics, right from installing Gluster components to creating replicated volumes, uh, distributed volumes, and then um, looked at how to uh, look at the help commands and so on. So now let's see how to enable quota in a volume. So I've got all my setup here, Gluster 1, Gluster 2, two storage nodes in my storage pool. And then I've got uh, the Gluster client. Okay. I haven't got any volumes at Gluster volume list. So let's quickly create a new volume. Gluster volume create. Uh, name of the volume, volume 1, it's a replicated volume, so replica 2, gluster 1, colon, gluster break 1, gluster 2, colon, gluster slash break 1, force, okay, so our volume created, gluster volume start volume 1, Okay, so that's started. Gluster volume list. Gluster volume info. Replicated volume with two uh, bricks. Okay, cluster volume status. Okay, so, so far everything is looking good. Let's mount this directory in uh, the client machine. Okay, so make directory mnt volume one i might have already got this directory yes i do now let's try and mount it mount minus t gluster fs gluster one and the name of the volume is volume one and i'm going to mount it under slash mnt volume one cool okay so let's cd to that directory here okay so now uh, we are in that directory and if i do df minus hp and it says so that's a cluster volume it's mounted here but if you look at the size it's 98 gig used is 51 gig so that's basically from the storage node uh, that I'm mounting this volume so we're not restricting anything so this volume we can write um, up to 98 gig of data in this volume right so we haven't enabled quota so now we are going to enable quota and see how the same command is going to show you some different output okay so now I'm going to enable quota and then I'm going to say that the maximum uh, data that can be the, the space uh, we can use on this volume is a specified size okay so for that first we need to enable quota the command is gluster volume quota name of the volume which is volume 1 enable but before that um, if I do volume 1 list to see if there are any quota configured for this volume it says quota is disabled please enable quota so the command is gluster volume quota name of the volume and enable so now volume quota is enabled and if I do list no quota configured we just enabled quota for this volume but we haven't configured any quotas yet so now I'm going to configure the quota. So there are two ways to configure quota when it comes to specifying the size. So either you can limit quota on the root volume or on an individual directory level. Say for example, if I go to the uh, client machine and I am inside the mounted directory and I'm going to create two directories, make the data one, data two. Okay, so I've got two directories. So I can set quota on the whole volume or I can set quota for the individual directory. Okay, so back in here, I'm, I've just enabled quota. Now I'm going to configure quota. Gluster volume quota and name of the volume, volume one. The type of quota is limit usage and the path where you want to limit the usage. So I'm saying the root volume, so the entire volume the hard limit is let's say 20 MB 
So I can't use more than 20 MB of this volume. Okay, quota success. And if I do Gluster Volume Quota Volume 1 list, now it says path is slash, which is the root uh, path, and the hard limit is 20 meg. Used zero because we haven't got any files yet. So zero available is 20 meg. We haven't exceeded the soft limit. We haven't exceeded the hard limit. Soft limit is set at 16 MB and the hard limit is 20 MB. Okay. And now if I go to the client machine and if I do df minus hp dot, and now you can see previously we saw that without quota enabled. So now we have enabled the quota and now it says this volume, the maximum size of this volume is 20 meg and we can't add more than that. So similarly, so we've set the quota for the uh, entire volume. So in total, all objects in together, all objects collectively can't use more than 20 meg uh, space in this volume. We can also uh, set quota at the directory level, data one and data two, okay? So let's do that. So you can specify data one, data one can't exceed five MB and data two can't exceed 15 MB, let's say, sorry, data two. Okay, and if I do the list command again, now you can see here path, the root volume, the hard limit is 20 meg and data one is five, data two is 15 MB. So now let's go to the client machine and if I do df minus hp dot, so that's the root volume that can use up to 20 meg. And uh, if I do data one, data one, you can see the size, which is five meg and data two, we can't use more than 15 meg. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. I'm going to cd to data one directory. I'm in data one df minus hp dot i can't use more than 5 meg let's try and create a file of size 5 meg okay dd uh, i'm going to use this command dd command um, input file equals dev u random output file equals my file one for example um, block size equals um, 5 mb count equals one okay so we've written that and we've got that my file and if i do ls minus l so that's about uh 5 mb that file is about 5 mb if i do du minus sh my file one it's not quite 5 mb it's 4.8 mb so we've used 4.8 mb and if i do df minus hp dot now we can see here the size because we enabled quota 5 MB and we've used 4.8 MB and there is only 240 K available. So we've used 96% of our quota. And if I go to the storage node and if I do the list command again, now you can see here in data one, we set the hard limit was set to 5 MB used is 4.8 MB and available is that one. So we've exceeded the soft limit. The soft limit was set to, by default, the soft limit is set to 80% of the hard limit. So which is 4 MB. We've gone past the 4 MB. So we've exceeded the soft limit, but we haven't exceeded the hard limit yet. Okay, let's try and create another file in the data one directory. DD um, IF equals U random. So let's create a file of 1 MB count as one. And it has uh, let us created the file. And if I do df minus hp dot, sorry, df hp dot, it says uh, available 4.1 meg. That's not right. Okay. Um, ah, okay. So I've overwritten that file. Okay. Let's start again. So that's how it was. Okay, df minus hp dot. Okay, so that's how it was. So we had one file, my file one, which was 4.8 MB. So now let's try and create another file of size one MB. Let's call it file two. 
okay that's written so we've got my file one and my file two and if i go to uh cluster one and i do the list command now we can see here slash data hard limit is 5 mb but we've exceeded both the soft limit and the hard limit so available space is zero bytes so go back to the uh, client machine and uh, if i do df minus hp dot we can see here we are 100 percent used so we won't be able to create any new files let's say let's try and create another file called my file 3 with a size of 1 meg and you will see this file disk quota exceeded okay so that's how you create uh, or enable quota on your volume either at the volume level or at the directory level and the individual directory level and if you want to disable quota it's quite simple cluster volume quota name of the volume volume one disable yes disable okay so once that's disabled let's run the list command so quota is disabled please enable quota and now if I go back here I don't know what it will show df minus hp dot yes it's back to 98 gig cd to data one let's try and create that file my file three and we've created that file so we've disabled quota and we've exceeded uh, we can now create additional files so i hope you found this video useful please let me know if you've got any questions i'll be happy to help and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye